I thought we had two bad stretches, the beginning of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter. Those were the two bad stretches, and against an excellent team, you know, uh, our margin is very small, you know, uh, and, and uh, uh, especially on the road. Um, I, I would say the other thing that, that kind of kind of irks me is giving up 35 free throws. Like, you know, so we played hard, we competed, but now we got to add the, you know, uh, understand how to play without fouling. What's the big thing you try to communicate to your team as the difference between winning and losing close games like this? Yes, we had our opportunities. There are no moral victories. We had our opportunities. Uh, you know, there's a few things we could have we could have made a few more plays. Quite honestly, both offensively and defensively, it's such a it's such a fine line between between win and lose. But I liked our execution. I thought our defense was uh, uh, much better than it was the other night. So there are a lot of positives, a lot of things to build on from this game. Patrick, up in the second quarter, in the third quarter. And and then didn't play down the stretch. So was there a particular reason for that? Yeah, I like the group that was in there. I thought uh, uh, I thought GT was. I liked the uh, Garrett Temple on Donovan Mitchell. Loved that matchup. I wanted to keep that matchup. Um, I thought TP was playing well. It was just a feel. I thought we were slugging it out with him and and uh, just a feel. So there was no disciplinary thing or. Uh, he was, you know. Uh, except for maybe talking to the referees, you know, too much. But the coach does that too, so. Uh, up, uh, that's a joke. Okay. <laughs> up 15 at halftime. I mean, did you get the vibe that they kind of took their foot off the gas a little bit coming out of the locker room in the third? I just think, you know, they were going to raise their level. That's, that's just their. <laughs> when you talk about talented team and, you know, excellent team, it, it, eventually, I knew eventually. I don't know when it was going to be, but they were going to get back in the game. I mean, they're too good. Uh, we knew that. Our guys knew that. We were prepared mentally. They just, uh, uh, you know, they came back, and then it was nip and tuck, and, and they made a few more plays than we did. You wanted to win, of course, Coach, but where do you feel your team is 10 games in? What'd you see? Um, we are where we are. We're four and six. I mean, we're we're below average. That's just you know. Uh, you almost uh, got this game tonight. Though. Yeah, no, I, I I think there's positive things. I think there's things to build on. But you know, uh, um, I I think our defense is going to improve for us to take another step. But uh, you know, four and six is four and six. It, it, you know, this this league is is uh, 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 unrelenting. So uh, we are below average. I think our guys understand that, um, and we got to uh, um, you know. I do think we're building something with the new group. I do. I, I don't feel like, uh, you know, we don't. You know, we're, we're not together. Or I, I, I feel good about the group. I feel good about our press process. I feel good about our system. I feel really good about our players. You know, these these are tough games. The Utahs, the Denvers on the road. But I, I, I like the way we competed. Did you think a lot on Sunday about holding a team to under 30 in the first quarter? You did that tonight. Just what would you see out of the gate that, that was lacking the past few games? It was just a point of emphasis. Uh, I think Garrett Temple helped that. You know, he, you know, him on Mitchell, I mean, he's got, you know, having a veteran guy that, that can defend like that is, is huge. So uh, I, I think that really helped. But I think our guys were locked in to, to, to understanding that we weren't getting the job done, and they got the job done in the first quarter. That, that gave us a chance. And really, I think we gave him nine free throws in the first quarter. I was like, man, if we would have held, you know, no free throw, you're, you're, it's a 20 point quarter. So uh, now it's defending, de defending with a little more discipline, I think. You won't use it as an excuse, but Kyrie seemed fatigued at all to you late down the stretch. Listen, we are relying on him a lot. We, you know, and and uh, that that's that's just. I know he loves that responsibility, uh, uh, but we we're relying on him a lot. We're playing him a lot of minutes. Um, you know, that's that's part of the job description. He 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 embraces it. He doesn't shy from it. He wants it. I think everybody, you know, when they're in Utah, it looks it looks a little tired, you know, with the elevation and stuff. But uh, uh, listen, he had really good looks, you know, and and sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, tonight they didn't go in. And and Gobert's. Listen, he's fantastic at the rim. Like, he, you just have to give him credit. He's crafty. He's smart. He's he's ferocious at the rim. That, you know, so now you're, you end up taking maybe more jump shots than you, you'd like. But he made a, he made a couple of great uh, rim protection uh, plays on, on Kyrie at the end there. Yeah, about how... Uh the Jazz defended Kyrie. Uh, surprised you guys tonight? Because uh, you got Royce O'Neal, and then uh, Joe Ingles ended up on him for the whole fourth quarter. Well, I thought Royce, you know, talk about tiring him down. Royce, that was, I know that was mission number one, right? Like, let's tire, let's get to, let's cut the head of the snake. Uh, uh, 
while. So uh, I understand the tactic. I understand uh, uh, how it is, and, and you know, credit to them for, for doing that. If and when two straight uh, double doubles, uh, do you see him starting to find his form? Yeah, uh, the yeah he's finishing better, rebounding better. Um, just yes, he really, really two two good games that bodes well for for the future. If and when Karras does come back, I mean, is scaling Kyrie's minutes back at all? Is that something that you? It's just tough where we are right there, especially with that Karras tonight. There was there was no. I didn't feel like there was another rotation we, we could go to. We needed his ball handling out there, and and trust me, I, you know my philosophy. I've never been, you know, love playing guys 40 minutes. I just don't think in the long term that's a smart thing. But we're in a situation right now where where he he kind of has to play those minutes, and uh, but but it's definitely something I, I have to consider and 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 uh, understand that uh, you know we can't play the guy 40 minutes it's just just not it's just not smart I'm saying when Karras comes back whenever yeah yeah no I, and, and that was that's the original plan you know and 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 uh I, I, you know I think Kyrie's around 34 right and a little under 34 minutes a game so it makes it easier when Karras is back would you like in that second unit um, I have to ask you about both guys but Claxton and DeAndre on the floor at the same time and then what you got from Musa it's a little unique you know playing those kind of two five men together and and we got to do you know like I said with 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 Karras out we kind of wanted to, to try so I thought Musa was really good you know that could be you know uh, like I said before the game you know th these are opportunities for these guys you know some players are born out of situations uh, like this so uh, um, I thought he was I thought he was really good you know Moose is not afraid like he <laughs> you say a lot of things about Moose but he he's not afraid of the moment he 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 he, he kind of relishes it quite honestly so I, I, I love his spirit I love how he gets after it All right, guys, thank, thank, thank you, you everybody